Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 28th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day. Meetings. Sobriety and a plan for living that produces a personality change and a spiritual awakening are imperative. Through AA, many receive the needed change and awakening just by trying to live by AA principles and associating with AA people. We do this by going to many AA meetings with an open mind and a desire to live the good-feeling life without chemicals, liquid or otherwise. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 459. Thought to consider. The ankle biters of everyday struggles will eat away at me unless I go to meetings and call my sponsor. AA Acronyms. Hope. Hearing other people's experience. Just for today. All encompassing from the whole company of. I was born an Anglican Church of England, and the following crops up in one of our services, perhaps in the services of other denominations also. Therefore, with angels and archangels in the whole company of heaven, we laud and glorify thy name. Since I have no knowledge of heaven or the company kept there, whenever I repeat this passage of praise, I substitute the word and the whole company of Alcoholics Anonymous. Being an AA loner, I have felt very out of things and on my own, but I do believe in the power of collective thought, whether for good or evil. Thus, I believe that the collective thought of the body of Alcoholics Anonymous throughout the world must have some effect on alcoholics, whether they are aware of it or not. Kenton on Sea, South Africa, Came to Believe, page 87. Daily Reflections Practical experience shows that nothing will so much ensure immunity from drinking as intensive work with other alcoholics. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 89. Sponsorship held two surprises for me. First, that my sponsees cared about me. What I had thought was gratitude was more like love. They wanted me to be happy, to grow, and remain sober. Knowing how they felt kept me from drinking more than once. Second, I discovered that I was able to love someone else responsibly with respectful and genuine concern for that person's growth. Before that time, I had thought that my ability to care sincerely about another's well-being had atrophied from lack of use. To learn that I can love without greed or anxiety has been one of the deepest gifts the program has given me. Gratitude for that gift has kept me sober many times. As Bill sees it, AA in two words. All AA progress can be reckoned in terms of just two words, humility and responsibility. Our whole spiritual development can be accurately measured by our degree of adherence to these magnificent standards. Ever-deepening humility accompanied by an even greater willingness to accept and to act upon clear-cut obligations. These are truly our touchstones for all growth in the life of the Spirit. They hold up to us the very essence of right being and right doing. It is by them that we are enabled to find and to do God's will. Talk, 1965, printed in the Grapevine, January, 1966. Big Book Quote We will seldom be interested in liquor. If tempted, we will recoil from it as from a hot flame. We react sanely and normally, and we will find that this has happened automatically. We will see that our new attitude toward liquor has been given us without any thought or effort on our part. It just comes. Alcoholics Anonymous Into Action, page 84. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. 
For the past two months, we have been studying passages and steps from the big book, Alcoholics Anonymous. Now, why not read the book itself again? It is essential that the AA program become part of us. We must have its essentials at our fingertips. We cannot study the big book too much or too often. The more we read it and study it, the better equipped we are to think AA, act AA, and live AA. We cannot know too much about the program. The chances are that we will never know enough, but we can make as much of it our own as possible. How much of the big book have I thoroughly mastered? Meditation for the day. We need to accept the difficulties and disciplines of life so as to fully share the common life of other people. Many things that we must accept in life are not to be taken so much as being necessary for us personally as to be experienced in order that we may share in the sufferings and problems of humanity. We need sympathy and understanding. We must share many of the experiences of life in order to understand and sympathize with others. Unless we have been through the same experiences, we cannot understand other people or their makeup well enough to be able to help them. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may accept everything that comes my way as part of life. I pray that I may make use of it in helping other people. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.